Wi-Fi connects us to the World Wide Web from our homes, coffee shops, gyms and schools. It's everywhere and that's what worries a group of Alberta parents. Next month, parent councils across that province will meet to discuss limiting Wi-Fi exposure for young people. And as Reed Feist reports, it has experts questioning the health risks of this technology. The hubs can be spotted on ceilings almost everywhere. The flashing lights, one sign of the Wi-Fi all around us. But now some Alberta parents are worried about what harm it could be posing to children in schools. It is everywhere that we go nowadays. An Edmonton Parent Council wants its provincial association to consider a motion next month to limit Wi-Fi in all Alberta classrooms. Some options could include on-off switches, lower radio frequency power, even creating Wi-Fi free schools when asked by a majority of parents. As adults we can make those decisions. Um, children, you know, if we can do, if we can take measures to protect them from uh, what they're exposed to, yeah, I'm I, I support those kind of um, choices. So how dangerous is Wi-Fi? Well, Health Canada says there is no convincing scientific evidence that shows it's harmful to school children or Canadians in general. You know, I get a little skeptical when parents are complaining about Wi-Fi. The University of Calgary's Tom Keenan says it's always good to have a discussion about safety for children, but this may have crossed the line. The people who worry about this say we're doing an experiment with our children. We don't know the results because enough years haven't passed. Well, the answer is there have been a lot of experiments, not so much on children, but on animals. The bottom line is we should think about this, but we shouldn't be worried about it. However, there is still debate around the world. France has banned Wi-Fi in nursery schools and limited exposure to elementary students. Still, Canada maintains there is no need for similar precautions. If Alberta parents support the motion, the Parent Council's Association will officially lobby school boards and the province to limit Wi-Fi. If the membership, the majority of the membership votes in favour, and that becomes policy of our association, and we will go to bat for our members advocating from that policy position. And while most are not calling for a total ban. Perhaps offering choice to parents, teachers, children um, for the amount of uh, exposure that they have to Wi-Fi. Hard to do in this connected world. Reed Feist, Global News, Calgary.